Mass communication is vital to society and our daily lives. Everyone's exposed to some form of mass communication. Simplest way to describe it is mass communication is talking with tools. To provide a way for young people to learn what it's all about to work in the media business. Again, whether it's any of those area, various areas we have, but in addition to figure out how does all of that fit in with your regular college education? Because we're going to expect you to know more than just how to work at a radio station or how to work at a TV station or in a newspaper. We're going to want you to know all those other kinds of things that are part of what's important about learning about liberal arts education. Or the Mass Communications Department at Morningside is certainly a very important department and it can and should be uh, a department that I think grows uh, in the future. Um, I think mass communication, really the media outlets in general, uh, are areas where there's a great deal of student interest. Uh, at many colleges and universities, uh, the department is much larger uh, than it is at Morningside. And we hope that ours does grow over time. Each of the media has accomplished something. MCTV provides a Morningside event calendar with the potential of student programming on cable TV. My experience with uh, student-produced cable television is that a whole lot more people watch it than we think because they're clicking through the channels you know with the remote control and they see somebody they know or they see a building on the Morningside campus that they recognize they're gonna stop check that out for a while um, and to the degree that the TV studio and MCTV has been able to highlight what's going on on campus rather than doing um, a skit comedy show or something else. The Collegian Reporter provides a weekly print of the paper for the entire campus. KMSC provides musical entertainment and alternative music and also broadcasts football and basketball games over the air and also online as well. There are a whole lot of folks who are interested in Morningside Athletics one way or another who probably wouldn't have had a single connection to Morningside Athletics without those broadcasts. Um, that's a very important part of what we do. I think uh, the halftime interviews that we do during um, Morningside sports broadcasts are important. Highlighting other non-athletic things that happen on this campus. There are a whole lot of folks who learn about what's happening on the Morningside campus because of our student media. That's just as true of the newspaper. Since Morningside College has MassCom as part of the curriculum, the college can provide each of the media to the public run entirely by students. How do we best prepare students in mass communications for the 21st century workforce? Um, that's what this is about. And that's really, we re rely on the expertise of our faculty to shape the curriculum to best meet those needs. And but moreover, I mean, I think, I mean, how do we aid the educational goals of the college? I mean, a liberal arts college, we, we, teach, uh, we teach ethics, we teach theory, we teach, um, you know, law and in history and stuff like that. I mean, all that stuff is very academic and it's stuff that that people should know when they go out in the world. I mean, uh, recognizing that it's an important part of our global culture. I was going to say American culture, but it's a, an important part of our global culture anymore. And that for us to send graduates out into the world they are better off if they have been exposed particularly to the theoretical aspects of mass comm. And that's why courses like Intro to Mass Communication, uh, Law of Mass Communication, those two particularly are very important because most of the students who take those two courses are not mass communication majors, but they're learning a lot about it. I mean, MCTV was, and still is, to a, lot of, a great extent, a very tight, social network. I mean, people are friends in MCTV, and of course, I mean, there have been problems. There have been falling outs. There have been disagreements. People have left. People have come. But, but I mean, it's, it's, it's like a club in a lot of ways. I mean, and it's, so it's a social organization. And for the people who I've seen involved in the media production over the years, a lot of people get very close. I mean, it, it's very, I mean, sometimes a little too close for comfort, but 
for the most part, it's a wonderful social organization that, that has built lasting friendships. I mean, I've seen people who are alums who are still very much involved with the college and very much involved with their friends they made at you know, MCTV as alums who just keep coming back because they're, they're part of the, of the social organization. Mass communication helps foster culture. So on this campus, our newspaper is a terribly important part of the culture. Look at what happens Thursday afternoon and Friday morning around here. Everybody's looking for the paper. You know, and, and those of us who teach Thursday afternoon or Friday morning have to get on the students to put the newspaper down because we're going to have class now, right? Um, the radio station plays a, a similar kind of role, particularly with regard to the athletic broadcasts, but also things like the 36-hour remote, the election night coverage, other special broadcasts that we do. Those student media are an important part of the culture for students on this campus. Because they're all kind of student-run things, it's places where students can have a real opportunity to make a difference and have their voice. So in fact, the radio station is called the student voice, radio voice of Morningside College. And the newspaper, Collegian Reporters, the same way and the same thing with MCTV. Morningside has the Collegian Reporter for the newspaper, MCTV for TV broadcasts on cable TV, and KMSC for the radio. At other learning institutions, as well as Morningside, funding in mass communication is always low, which is surely not enough to do very much. But with participation and support from all the students, not just ones majoring in mass communications, the production produced, the college's three media, and the students themselves can grow. To the community, the student-run media provides the public face of Morningside College.